So you're probably wondering what's going on and maybe you're also thinking, hang on, that's not the Pathfinder. No, it's not. That's my new project and uh, I'm going to use this video to explain what happened and what's happening now. Okay? Nice to see you again, by the way. So, I haven't produced a film for at least three or four months now and um, I'll explain why. I said in the last video that the next video I would produce, i.e. the one I should be doing now, would be the Sea Trials video for the Pathfinder. This is the Pathfinder obviously next to me here. And um, about a month ago uh, I set out to do Sea Trials and a, a proving voyage. And that that voyage was to be uh, from Falmouth back to Plymouth and then recover the boat there. But there's a bit of history before that which I need to explain and then I need to explain uh, what's happened very recently. Um, going back about four months, I woke up one night and then into the next day feeling quite peculiar, um, very groggy, I was very unbalanced, I was sort of lurching around the, the bedroom. When I went out for a walk I realised it was something quite seriously wrong, so I stopped and um, saw uh, our duty GP that very afternoon and he sent me straight to hospital and what had happened was that I had a stroke. Now, this is now four months ago. The first 26 hours I just sat around in the A&E department waiting for a bed, a bed and then I was in hospital for another couple of days. Um, I don't remember much about it except that I was extremely exhausted all the time as a consequence of sitting around in the AD department for 26 hours and then you know waiting for CT scan, MRI scan, blah 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 blah. The MRI scan uh, demonstrated that not only had I had a recent stroke but I've also had previous ones which, which is a bit of a worry but that's anyway that's the history that's four months ago as many of you will know from my blog posts, I then went into three months of very intensive work on the Pathfinder. In fact, I changed the rig, I repainted the lovely top rig, it's pretty blue. And I generally prepared it for the thing that, you know, I, I was supposed to do, which take it for sea trials, do a proving voyage, and then start my major sailing project of going around England by sail and oar, and that was the whole idea. Well, that all went wrong. Um, about a month ago, it's about six weeks now, um, we took the boat to Falmouth, launched it, and I did sea trials. In fact, I, I visited a lot of my favourite places, so that's why a, a, lot of the, a lot of the pictures are here, for example. This is Ruin Creek, of course. There are a few from Helford, there are a few from Place, that's in the Pecule. And then slowly came back to Plymouth. In fact, it was a bit of a weird trip. It was very hot, very dry, and there wasn't much wind. So I didn't actually get much sailing. In fact, I only sailed the boat, I think, three or four times. Most of what I experienced was just under motor and fairly uh, dismal experience of just motoring up and down places, looking at boats and trying to film. I've got loads of film footage of really, really dull boats and none of the actual sailing. For some reason, I, whenever, whenever I set up to film during my sailing trips, I forgot to take the lens cap off or something, or the camera fell over or something. So I came back to Plymouth uh, about six weeks ago. We retrieved the boat uh, down at Carl Beale Mill in Cornwall, brought it back here. And the next morning, I woke up with a second stroke. This time, I was a lot weaker, my balance was a lot worse, everything about it was another few degrees worse. So, a couple of weeks after that, I declared um, through my, my blog that I've practically given up sailing. I've certainly given up sailing something as big as this. This, this, this now seems like a really big boat. Mainly, this is too much to manage. I can't even row it properly, I haven't got enough strength. 
and I have significant difficulty with other features of having this kind of boat here. One is just in the driveway here, it's a hell of a thing to turn around and, and, and move around. So instead, um, I thought, yeah, it's all over. This is up for sale. Pathfinder, the Pathfinder is up for sale. If you're looking for a Pathfinder, it's on Apollo Duck. But the boat you saw me playing with this morning is my new venture, and it's that that I'd really like to focus on today. So um, it's a, a CLC, that's Ches Chesapeake Light Craft, small craft, the dinghy. It's called a passenger maker, and it's essentially a two-person dinghy uh, intended for use for sailing, knockabout, or use as a tender. And it's going to be what I call my bushcraft boat. Finally, finally, in the end, written about it for years, and now I've got around to actually doing one for real. Well, this project came about in a really unusual way. Uh, the day that I, the day that I announced on, I think John Wilson's site, that hey, I'm look, I'm retiring from sailing. I've got, I've got to stop doing this because it's too much for me. I also said something quite unusual, which is that what I might do is get a really small boat, something like a, a dinghy or maybe, maybe even a sailing canoe, and just go about locally, just having a wander around the local rivers and maybe camping. And I, I, posted, I posted a photograph with that, which was the, a commercial, pho commercial photograph of the CLC dinghy being you know, paddled by a young lady. And lo and behold, um, less than six hours later, uh, a local guy who lives very near me, a guy called Daryl, he contacted me and said, look, I've got a CLC dinghy, do you want to come and have a look at it? It's for sale, it's, it's cheap, you know, and you can, you, not you can have it, but you can buy it. And we went to see it that week. And yeah, it's, it was a little bit rough. It was okay, one piece. It had, uh, didn't have a rig. In fact, he had bought it for, for the rig for one of his other boats, which is a scary, also a CLC design. But it was a hull. It was, it had a rudder and it had a dagger board. And he, he asked a very low price. I said, yep, we'll, we'll, we'll take that away. We thought about car topping it, but he said, no, no, don't do that. And amazingly, uh, a few days later, he he arranged with me, he, he brought it round on a trailer. And there it is in, in the yard. And uh, so I thought, right, this is obviously intended to be my next my next project. And it, I, I call it the Bushcraft Project. This project, unlike the Pathfinder, is going to happen very quickly. Now, the Pathfinder, as you may know from the last few years, has been four years in the building, or at least at least three years in the building, and then this final year, uh, just getting ready for sea trials. The CLC project, what I call the Bushcraft project, is going to come together probably in six weeks. Um, so far, I've already sanded and repainted the outside. That was quite a lot of work because it was rough. Today, as you see, I'm just pa painting the inside for the first time. The, my paintwork is awful, but it's quite a difficult day to paint. So anyway, this is going to be my boat for local adventures. And that's the kind of thing I'm going to do. Some people call it camp cruising, some people call it bushcraft, some people call it dinghy cruising. What it's going to be is a combination of rowing and sailing this little boat. It's going to have a standing lug rig and a pair of oars, never need an engine. And I'm going to go about locally in the Tamar and the Liner and the Tavy and you know, all the little rivers locally, probably camping uh, with basic basic bushcraft skills. So that's the future, I hope. And I might even be tempted to build uh, a new boat, especially for this job. I have some ideas in mind, and I've, I've spoken about a couple of those. Whatever it is, it has to be a small boat, it has to be a lightweight boat, it has to be something that I can manage on a slipway, manually, on my own. I think a maximum size is about 14 feet, maybe a goat island skiff or something, something similar that's just a little bit, has a little bit larger capacity for carrying stuff. We'll see, you know. Anyway, here goes, look, um, as I said, nice to see you again. Thanks for turning up and I will hopefully um, post or video about this project you know, every, every few weeks now until it's on the water, which I hope will be in the autumn. 
So maybe uh, I will see you then on the water rowing a little boat down the Tamar. Thanks you all. Bye.